Hey guys, what's going on? This is The Rider, and today it is raining, even though it looks like it's really sunny. But I'm determined. I'm determined to take a ride because I love my motorcycle too much. Alright, today's topic is why is adventure better with a motorcycle rather than a car? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Let's go start her up and go ride. Get those heated grips up because it's kind of chilly outside. All right. Let's uh, let her warm up a little bit. Now for this vlog, I'm going to be going pretty slow on my motorcycle because last week I got a speeding ticket uh, it's for $340, actually $350. And I am looking to not get a speeding ticket this time, so I'm going to be pretty cautious this time around. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the footage of me getting stopped because I was going to class, and um, you know I don't usually record me going to class. But uh, yeah. It's actually my first time riding in uh, three days because I've been sick, so I might be a little rusty. All right, so why is adventure better on a motorcycle, in my opinion, than a car? Um, you know, most people would argue that a car is a lot better, or you know, a truck, whatever, is a lot better to adventure with than a, than a motorcycle because you can just load up pretty much your whole closet in the car and um, it's like you know bringing bring a second home with you wherever you are so some people might argue that having a car is actually better to um, adventure with than a motorcycle but I have to disagree for me I think that a motorcycle is better to adventure with because you got that survival factor you know you can't take your whole closet with you in a car. You can only take oh, whatever fits on your motorcycle. Oh shoot, <laughs> I just downshifted and the uh, rear just freaking swerved around. I don't know if you guys caught that or not. I noticed that on this motorcycle. It does that a lot. Or maybe it's just because I'm not very experienced in riding. Probably because I'm not experienced. My friend uh, Mercedes got stolen over here. He lives right here. Like somewhere around here. And uh, he left his Mercedes on for about like 10 minutes. And he thought this is a pretty safe area. So he's like, yeah, you know, whatever. Nobody's going to touch it. And when he came back, his uh, Mercedes was gone. So now uh, we're going to we're going to try to find his Mercedes. And somebody already spotted it actually in this area. So hopefully he gets his Mercedes back. Oh shoot, what the <laughs> Man, this driver in front of me right now just like slamming his brakes. Now I'm not even paying attention. Student driver, of course it's a student driver. Hey student driver, can you not be such a student driver? Gosh, gosh, man. Alright, so, yeah, so, um, adventure is better with my motorcycle, because, you know, you got the survival factor, you can only take a few clothes with you, or maybe if you have a touring motorcycle, you can take a little bit more than a few clothes, but you kind of had have that kind of, like, underdog type of feeling, you know, because, um, you're, you're not, you're not left with a lot, you're, you're venturing with what you got, and, uh, this, I believe, just results in a, just a better feeling overall. Woo! Oh, look at that beauty. I was actually looking at a open house here uh, just recently. I believe it was one of these houses, I'm not sure. But look at that beautiful view. This is uh, Redondo Beach, if you guys don't know. 
and yeah, right now I'm adventuring. This is me adventuring right now. And I'm adventuring in my... Hey, we have that car. <laughs> and we... And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying my time right now. If I was in a car, I would just... I would be like falling asleep. Because I'm basically sitting on a lounge chair. But this, I'm not falling asleep. I'm, in, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing right now. I'm enjoying... Uh, where I am because I don't have a lot with me I don't have you know this this um, this protection around me this false protection which is a car I don't have that around me I don't have you know uh, what feels like a moving moving home that I'm sitting in I have this uh, motorcycle with me and if I if I mess up if I get stranded that's it I can't sleep in this motorcycle I can't um, uh, you know, sit in it while I get help. I mean, I can, but I'm going to be exposed to the open. So, yeah, it's a very, it's a very visceral experience being in a motorcycle uh, and adventuring than being something like, um, even like an open, open top car, you know. I don't know where I'm going. Watch out for this gravel here. I've actually never taken this route. I mean, I told you guys earlier that I was house hunting over here, but I mean, I've never gone all the way down here. Oh, I missed my motorcycle. I actually might be getting rid of my uh, my sports motorcycle just because of that ticket. You know, I'm. Ah, I, I might just go back to my cruiser, to be honest. Because um, it does get tiring to like want to go fast all the time. I, I really don't enjoy going fast all the time, to be honest. Yeah, it's fun, but when you're going slow on this motorcycle, it's really not that fun. Like it, it just, just kind of sitting there. You just, you just have this little niche, this little, you know, just a little like voice in the back of your head just saying go faster go faster go faster and it's like that's all you're thinking about and yeah so uh, this guy can go already all right an old guy in a Chevrolet vote like why are old people getting Chevrolet votes so much I don't even know why I don't even know why if you guys don't know this place was destroyed by waters like by the ocean it never used to be like that it actually used to be perfect like people used to actually i used to walk here just when i uh, brought my last girlfriend like on a first date i used to just walk here it was really nice and now it's destroyed so yeah hopefully the city um go ahead go goes ahead and pays for the repairs here but no federal way <laughs> It'll probably never happen uh, my my town's so ghetto. Anyways, yeah, right now I'm adventuring. I'm enjoying this much more than I would in the car, and especially if you have like a dual sport. I'm actually thinking about it. maybe maybe I'm not, I'm not even gonna get a cruiser. Maybe I'll just get a dual sport because imagine like a dual sport is so much better than a than a um, than a car or SUV or whatever. Because you know with the dual sport you can just get into uh, a lot of off-road situations that you can't really get with the car. Um, I mean, basically, you can just, you can fit your motorcycle wherever a human fits, you know? Because it's that skinny. Man, guys, I, I'm so tempted to illegal overtake everybody I see. But I really don't want to get a ticket. <laughs> and, you know... How, I don't even know how I got that ticket. I was I was flying down um, a, a road that I live by that's very familiar to me, and I was looking around for cops. I didn't see anyone. I mean, I was, it was empty. So I was like, okay, I'll just go fast and uh, not be late for my class. And I don't know where this this cop stops me just before I'm uh, going into my my turn. This cop just puts the sirens on and I gotta pull in, I, I just put into like a gas station and he gave me the ticket and I don't even know where he came from. He just came from nowhere. I was like, what the flip? So yeah, I guess he was, um, he was like sitting, 
was, you know, with his car somewhere in like a corner behind a bush or something with his radar gun because he did show me the, the proof that he actually radar me. So, yeah. Oh shoot, I just tried to do a stoppy but that didn't work. The front end, so I slid. Oh well, oh well. So like right now I would just full on accelerate up to that bus, but I just can't. I can't because I am restricted. Restricted. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Hey, thanks for waiting for me, buddy. Thanks for waiting for me, buddy. Thank you for waiting for me, buddy. You know, especially when you're traveling a long distance with the motorcycle versus a car, you don't have that safety of the cage like I was talking earlier. You just, you're open. You're open to an environment. You're open to every little danger out there. You are not protected by your car. So it just, it just falls back on that whole survival factor. Lady. I hope she was over 18. <laughs> no, she, she, she looked over 18. I swear, some girls, man, these days, oh my god, you look at them, you're like, hmm, she's pretty attractive. And then, like, she turns around, you see her face, you're like, oh shoot. She turns out to be like this 14 year old girl, and you, you thought she was like 20 or something. Like, I don't know how old those girls are right there. Like, I just looked at that right there. You saw those girls? To me, uh, you know, I don't have like perfect vision. To me, I was like, hmm, those are pretty nice looking girls. And then I looked at their face. They're like 12 year olds. I'm like, oh my God. And you just feel like a pedophile. It's, it's so wrong, guys. Lord forgive me for my sins. <laughs> hey guys, if you uh, never knew of this little trick, it's, if you're trying to put your motorcycle into neutral and you kind of can't like right now try to put your neutral or your clutch in all the way like literally all the way in um then you're gonna engage into neutral or i mean yeah into neutral much easier this is one thing i didn't notice with my motorcycle i was uh, pulling the clutch in but not not fully it was like you know like 90 percent and i thought you know what's the what's the difference pretty much but once you pull in your clutch fully, like all the way in, uh, at a dead stop and try to put it into neutral, it's gonna go into neutral right away. Just uh, just a little note to you guys if you have if you're having trouble putting your bike into neutral like I have. Yeah guys. I think I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and uh, see you later. <laughs>